Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another tutorial. Now, I've been asked so many times the last few days if I can um, tell people how I make the homemade shimmer spray. People who've followed this channel for a long time will know that I did do a video, but it's about three years ago now and a lot of people are not aware of it. So, and I used... Um, surgical spirits in that video and I don't use it anymore because I can't stand the smell so I thought I would do a new updated one so how I make it is because I've got a few little tips and things I've discovered as well these are ones that I've made and I use every day so you've obviously got to shake it before you use it you can see it's not a glitter spray it's it's a shimmer and it is beautiful And this is another one once the bubbles settle you can see the shimmer it is beautiful I use this virtually on everything uh, it's I've, like I say I've used it for over three years and it is absolutely beautiful stuff so um, what I've found is these bottles are brilliant. Now I get mine from Wilkinson's and I've got a few here because we're going to make some new uh, sprays. But what I've found is I've probably wasted about £10 over the last two weeks because I bought these from Amazon and I thought, oh, they're lovely black ones. No, no, they don't work. They just clog up and you can't spray it out. So I've just kept this for water. You might remember in the video the other day I said I bought these for shimmer spray they're like these but they're a lot smaller rubbish they just won't spray you can see I had made a one like a pink one and they're just clogging they will not dissolve and I've tried everything I broke two as well because it totally jammed so they're rubbish so this is a deodorant this was a deodorant like a body spray and i think i got it from savers or somewhere and because the tube is quite wide this is brilliant so you know any sprays like that but be careful be very careful what you buy don't go for you know little skinny things and i'm telling you definitely don't get these because they don't work um I got them from Amazon and so disappointed so I went to Wilkinson's today and I got the ones that I know that work I don't know if it's something to do with up here like not the tube but something up here where the other ones are blocking I don't know or like I say a big you tend to find the bigger bottles are better so what I use now is well I've used it for the last year or so isopropyl alcohol I get a big bottle um, from Amazon I'll put the link for that because it lasts for so long not only for your shimmer spray but you can also it's brilliant for cleaning the glue off your scissors and things like that really good so I've always got a bottle in there's no smell and it doesn't wet your cardstock because if you I've heard some people saying oh I just use water mm, fair enough but your cardstock is going to be soaking and if you put too much on it you know when it goes like like it pills up or whatever you call it and, it and it ruins it so I don't use water you know that's not what I use I use that so I'll put the link for that Um, now this is go create sculpt and spritz I've been putting this in mine and brilliant and I'm thinking as well when I've used this this would be a great bottle to make the spray because you can just peel the label off so I use that <clears throat> you can also use glossy accents I've used it I think I've got it in this one actually and it's really good it's just so that your spray will stick because if you don't put anything sticky in it will just wipe away some people use Mod Podge you can put a little bit of that in it's just something to make the shimmer spray stick <clears throat> excuse me okay but personally my choice is this like a kind of gel hairspray type of thing so that's what you can use but any type of glue that dissolves apparently 
Now, so you've got your alcohol, you've got your hairspray or glossy accents or Mod Podge, whatever you want to use for that. You've got your spray bottles. This is my little tray of micas and um, pearls, pearlescent powders. So, this one here, which is my favourite, I have to say, is made from the Barry M Glitter Dust Eyeshadow. This stuff is amazing and it makes brilliant shimmer spray. Um, I used it in my old video and I can't find that colour anymore because I'd used it all. But this is a close one. And I think, no, I'm telling a lie, that is this one here. It's like a goldy cream colour. So you can use these, the Barry M Dazzle Dusts. <coughs> Excuse me. I always get a dry throat when I start recording. You can also use Perfect Pearls. Um, I've got some Hunky Dory pearlescent powders. They work. And my favourite, which is the beautiful white one, is actually this. It's a Lisa Horton Mica Powder Ice White. And this is absolutely beautiful. So that's what I used to have in the Barry M, but I haven't got any left and I can't find it anymore. So these here, you, you get grey soot, warm cocoa, copper pot and ice white and you get this beautiful brush with it. Now I got this a few weeks ago from Craft Stash. I'll put the link because they may still have it and the brush is really good quality if you want to do like embossing powder and then brush this over so I thought it was a really good value so I got that and um, but I'm just basically showing you any kind of pearlescent powder and I I got this as well but I haven't used it it's actually a epoxy resin pigment so it's just like again a kind of mica so anything like that you can use so I thought I'm gonna do the copper and I'm going to do blush from the Perfect Pearls. We're going to make a couple. And I'll put the link for this as well. I love this little spoon. It's perfect for things like this. So it's really, e they're really easy to make. So I'm going to open two of the bottles. Take my isopropyl alcohol. <clears throat> And I'm going to put quite a bit in. So I've virtually filled it. Well, more than three quarters, I would say. All right. That is that. So I'm going to open... The copper pot. Oh wow, I hope you can get all the shimmer on that, it is beautiful. And then the blush in the perfect pearls. So what I do is I just take the little spoon and I'm putting about this much in at first. I normally put two of them in. I normally find that's enough. Okay. And I'll put the lid straight on in case I spill it. And then I'm just going to wipe this little spoon. Okay. And then I am going to put some blush in the other one. Again, about the same. Two spoons. And I take my hairspray or gel spray, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. It's sticky. That's all I need to know. And this is how much I put in. About that. So we de a decent bit. And that's it. It's really, really easy to do. So let's put 
put our lids on. I need to get this um, plastic off them. So just pop it in. Make sure it's on and we need to give it a good shake. You can see all the luster there. Now if you feel it's a little bit watery you can add a bit more of the powder. It's entirely up to you. That. that is gorgeous so let's test them let's get these out the way just got my little scrap card tub thing which I keep all the little bits in that I can use for stamping and stuff yeah we'll test a few colours I've got my little spray box just to spray them so We'll test the blush one. <clears throat> so I'm going to test it on white. Don't say this bottle isn't not going to work. Oh no, it's not. Seriously, this is what I mean. having any luck with these <laughs> oh that one's okay so this one is the copper and you can see it's just got a lovely coppery sheen try it on the pink that's beautiful you can see the coppery look when you kind of move it. Oh, that's beautiful on the black. Right, let's see what's wrong with this bottle. <clears throat> this one just doesn't seem to want to come out. I don't know, I think lately you just seem to get like, I don't know, a lot of dud ones. Um, I've got a spare one, we'll try it in here, see if it might just be faulty, I don't know, because the other one's working. I'll change the lid over. you believe that this one's doing the same thing don't understand that at all so one out of three is working isn't gonna have it this is what I'm saying ab about um, your bottles you've I'm gonna try and snip this a bit you've got to be just I don't know it's trial and error it really is lately I never used to have this bother last time when I made them no it's just it's blogging up I really don't understand it because the other ones work and but I don't know. I just really wanted to show you how to make them and I'm going to try and see if I can get this to work somehow. This one works and the other ones that I've made but for some reason oh, I wonder if it's the powder. Maybe the Perfect Pearls is thicker than the mica and the eyeshadow. I don't know. Um, yeah it's just it's just jamming. So that's how you make them um, maybe don't put perfect pearls in then I don't know I'm gonna to have to do some tests and see you know if it is that because it's funny that 
the only one that hasn't worked is the one with perfect pearls in. Maybe it's just too thick, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Take care and bye I'm for back now. Because I quickly wanted to tell you what I've done. I have, this was the hairspray. I've tipped it out and I've put it into another one of those bottles and it sprays now it works. You might be able to see this has got like the, the pinky tone. So I'll just show you on a bit of white. This is the blush. Probably best to see it on black actually. I'll spray it on the black. But yeah, this is this is what I'm saying about the bottles. You can see the pink. So there we are. I've got the blush, the white ice, the copper and like the creamy colour. So those will do me for a long, long time. Um, but I hope you have any some luck with your spray bottles. So bye for now.